Speed run. I mean, I could play Contra Three or a Contra. Uh, is that Contra Three? Or is it Contra Four? I, I forgot what number it is. The uh, Alien Wars. A uh, Contra Three. The Alien Wars. Okay. Yeah. Speed run that. <laughs> Speed run that. Okay. All right. It'd be more like a trial and error. Okay. <laughs> That'd be fun. That'd be in the future. We'll work on that. <sighs> How's it going, guys? You know, in the effort to try to gear this channel to be family friendly, decided to play Gex of all games. Gex 2. Of course, put some uh some display in the beginning because we, we gotta we gotta help we gotta help the current generate or the current generation. We gotta help the new generation, okay? Alright. They're being bombarded with brainwashing in the schools, getting them confused about what gender they are. I'm gonna do my best to remind them of what they really are. Okay, all right. Happy Fourth of July weekend. Yeah, happy. America's birthday. You know, it's hard to celebrate it when. It's hard to feel good about it when you can't even celebrate it. I can't even light fireworks. Oh, they're illegal here. I'm sorry. I thought this was America. Out of all the things, you know, it's always been kind of illegal here uh, in this area. But they recently started enforcing it. Last year, it was uh, it became a, how many tickets can we get? You know, getting the tickets one thing, but they confiscate the fireworks, which is bullcrap. If you spend hundreds of dollars on fireworks, and you light them in a place where it's illegal, be like, okay, well, don't take the fireworks officer. How about I go over there across the line, the county line? <laughs> or it's legal, it's literally like our backyard. Then just fire them there. That's bullshit. <sighs> I'm not the only one who probably feels this way. Something has to give, man. Things are things are getting too tight financially. Things are getting too crazy out there. Does that make sense? <sighs> I don't even feel like celebrating, honestly. Give us a big weekend fart right into the, at the camera. I can give you guys that. I can give you guys that. I can give you guys a Brap King 4th of July uh, little video. I can do that. No problem there. Uh, summer's running out. I need it. If, if I'm going to ever do a, like a summer episode, I, I better start working on that. Okay. Okay. So, do we have Gex on the screen? No, we have we have that on the screen. Good stuff. I don't only I don't only have yellow fever. Okay, she's she's from Ukraine. Okay, her name is Hannah. Last name I don't even know how to pronounce. Not even gonna try. Okay. All right. Okay. She's from Ukraine. I bet you would take her in as a refugee. 
100%. Just watch, watch her form. She's great. Let's watch that again. <laughs> if I really want to make this a family-friendly stream, I should play some Minecraft after this. I don't even have Minecraft on this computer. I don't even have Minecraft on this computer. I have a bunch of emulators and old games, but not even Minecraft. All right, she's getting ready. Here she goes. And she she makes it, right? Bam, look at that. Look at that. Nailed it. Okay. But the the best angle's coming up. Let's get the the best angle. Here, here wait, 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 wait. Best here we go. I think you guys might enjoy this. Cultural uh, view. Good stuff. Okay. Anyway. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and put uh, Gex 2 on the screen here. We'll play that. We'll play that. We'll, we'll, be, we'll just be chilling and playing that. Talking about whatever you guys want to talk about. That's fine, too. I have some thoughts on things. Uh... Why isn't it? Okay, one second. My capture thing is not okay. There we, there we go. There we go. All right, Gex two, enter the gecko. Uh, Let me just admit the, the sound real fast. There we go. Midway. Since retiring from the public's <clears throat> eye, I... I'm in through. I haven't heard of Midway in a long time. That don't exist anymore, right? They gone defunct, uh, d defunct, defunct, defunct. Right? Is that right? All right. There we go. Probably better uh, audio level there. All right, let's go ahead and get this to go. Have you guys ever played this game? Do you have any thoughts about it? Obviously, I enjoy it, which is why I'm playing it. Go to the let's go to the horror area. It's tail time. <laughs> Everybody gets defucked. <laughs> defucked eventually. <laughs> they get fucked eventually. Yeah. Um, uh, I don't think it really. I guess it matters which one we choose. All right. So if you never, if you never played so this, this game before, never, never let me give you a history lesson. It's a 3D platformer. There you go. <laughs> Mario 64 kind of paved the way, and blah blah blah. Just a lot of collectibles, uh, navigate environments, and uh, you know, get the uh, get the star. In this case, the uh, the remote. Oh, let me. Slip of the tongue, baby. All righty. Do we get anything from these guys? No, we do not. I think we might get something from the clock stuff. So. Nope. Oh, wait. What's up here? That's weird. Okay. 
Jimmy Hoppe, white courtesy phone. Jimmy so Hoppe. I've been kind of disconnected from, uh, disconnected. I haven't really paid any mind to any recent happenings or drama stuff uh, in the past, over, over the past night. So, ah, oh, shit. I didn't know if there was like a Kino casino or anything like that. Uh, I pretty much spent this morning uh, mowing the yard. Mow oh, taking care of the yard work, you know? Taking care of that stuff. I checked out the uh, Nimophila live performance. Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Obviously, I talked... Oh, oh, can't even make that. Obviously, I talked about that band quite a bit. Uh, I really like them. I think they're really good. They kind of formed and made material kind of like when COVID lockdowns were in effect. So they didn't, they haven't really had much touring or any really, any real touring. So it's good to see them start doing that. I mean, obviously they, they played shows in, J in Japan. Uh, this is the thing, you know? Yeah. Okay. Forget about it. But they had their first show in L.A. at Whiskey A Go Go. I'm oh. flaming in the manly way. Flaming. Oh, okay. Watch me use my tail to kick your butt. Yeah, and I thought the show was pretty good. I don't know if you ever saw them. But uh, if, if you were to catch it, uh, I think you would get a good, a good impression of the band. Pretty good energy. You know, for small Japanese girls, uh, I thought they fit the stage quite nicely. Um, though I kind of wonder about, like, it looks like a small venue. Like, Whiskey A Go Go. I don't, I don't know how many people could fit at that venue because it looked real teeny tiny. Um, let me check here. Uh, how many seats they have there? Whiskey a go go. Uh, L.A. seating. I okay. It's this capacity 500. That stage is kind of small, even with them on it. I also noticed that they didn't have like their stacks. They didn't have their amps or anything. I guess it's common. I mean, I don't. I don't know. Like, like Saki didn't. I didn't see her. Um, her freaking her freaking amp that she that she has. I mean, they probably have, like, road gear and shit. And I hope it's not just one show. I hope it, it looks like it's going to be two shows it, over there. But I hope they do more venues. Play at other places, because, like, just one? Just one venue in the States? That doesn't even seem practical. That, do, that doesn't even seem... Um, like... It seems kind of like a waste. Um, like, 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 like they come over to the states. They're gonna just play one place. Nah, they gotta play. They gotta play other no, places. No, come on. No, I wanted the pit fair and the pendulum there. Oh yeah, yeah, tail time. All right. Um, do do. Pardon oh, my tongue, darling. Man, okay. There's a little ah, a little ghost guy. Gotta watch out for that guy. <laughs> Anything else to say about that show? Mm, other than the, like I said, the perform the performance was really good. I, I did enjoy that. Uh, oh, there's something that caught my eye. There, there's this, there was like this whippet bottle, like a bottle of canned whippet 
behind the bases. And I was like, uh, <laughs> what? Why is that there? That's so strange. Like, you kind of expect to see, like, a bottle of liquor or, like, a beer bottle or something. But a can of Whip It? Like, is she, like, doing Whip It's <laughs> in between <laughs> songs? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it was left over by, like, a stage tech or something. It seemed weird. Oh, Caesar. Interesting comment there. Let's read that. He says, I don't want to bring needless attention to it, but did you see the second email Vicar sent to Cog going into further details, doubling down about his suspicions and mentioning his old businesses? Mm, I think I did see that. Is that the one where at the end, is that the one that starts with he's out of the game or he's not in the game, son? Is that the one where he laughs at the uh, idea of uh, of him committing tax fraud? Yes, between him and the IRS. I hope. <laughs> I hope no one else is concerned about that. I hope there's no... Uh, I gotta tell you this much. Everyone in the Council of Evil don't really aren't going to be the ones busy bodies to be reporting anything or anything like that. <laughs> you know, Google watches TV and movies. I play video games and mobile yards and ride, ride motorcycles and work. Uh, DJ Axel is plotting ways to, <laughs> to groom more kids. I don't know. I'm just messing with them. Uh, surfers doing a weight loss thing. Okay. Like we're we're too busy. We're not we're not the type that would be invested in that shit. Like like the whole uh, swatting shit. That's none of us. None of us have anything to do with that. Um, and the fact that Vickers thought that it was either the Dymo or me swatting him, it's so absurd. Uh, that's all you really need to know, kind of about Vickers. How insane he is. The reason why he sent me that nasty message is because I guess he thought I swatted him. Uh, what? Okay. What was I doing that day when I received that message? Oh, I was on the couch playing Minecraft with my kids. <laughs> That's what I was doing. <laughs> That's what I was doing there. I, and before that, I was watching... Uh, Bro you know what I was watching. Ah, uh, what? I was watching Japanese. Japanese girls, obviously. What? Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. You can't eat your pudding if you don't eat your meat. Okay. So what's happening, guys? What's happening? What's new? You know? Uh, I've been watching some of... I'll tell you what I've been watching. I've been watching more Gothic King Cobra. Is uh, the recap. There was some... Uh, I noticed there was, some, uh, there was uh, an April recap. I thought that was pretty good. It's tail time. I didn't watch... The, I didn't watch all of it. But apparently, what Gothic King Cobra had like upgrades for his um his dummy, <laughs> I guess I, I I don't know. He was talking about a stupid doll. I see that doll in the background, but I don't think I've ever really seen him use it. But I guess he does. I guess he does use it at times. All right, let's go back there. Now that's what I call getting some tail. Uh, hi, I'm here for the real world interview. <laughs> okay. So yeah, Gex is voiced by Dana Gold. You probably know him from The Simpsons. Uh, I 
I think it was also in an episode of Seinfeld. What's weird, like when I played this game the first time when I was, uh, I think I was like, I must have been like 16 or 15. I had no idea. I didn't know who, who he was. I just knew like a uh, Gex every now and then would make little quips. Some of them were kind of like stupid and it's like, okay. It's not really annoying. It's just, oh, okay. I got, I took damage from like a Halloween prop. What? Hit him up for all the skulls. Bam, bam, bam. Then nothing left. Let's get these skulls. FedEx for Roger Corman. Oh, I think we're supposed to do the blood right now. Wait, Caesar, what are you saying? Vickers and Cog are doubling down on their weird schizo-paranoid conspiracy theory that Dymo is pretending to be multiple counts that he is not. <laughs> let him continue. Like, let him continue. In fact, let it escalate as high as it can get to show how paranoid and delusional they are. It's insane, man. Like, one thing I've noticed about... All these people. Well, definitely, definitely, uh, Mr. Vickers and Cog. So they're paranoid, man. They're really paranoid. I think there's another blood thing we missed. Although I don't think it matters. I never thought I'd meet the stones. <laughs> Get it there. Made it rock. I see. Did I already hit the switch? I think I did. Yeah, I did. Okay. I think we'll get that. We'll do that elevator thing. What's happening, guys? All right. Bounce around. Hit this checkpoint. All right. It's sale time. Get some of these collectibles. Get that taken care of. I'm glad that doesn't really hurt me. Oh, wow. Wow, just not even doing it. I that duty. Boom! I think we missed the first one of the, uh, the blood stuff, so it doesn't really matter. I don't think we have to worry about that. I think we're just going to... I am most certainly there's a there's an elevator room. Anymore. We can do that. Oh shit! Slip of the tongue. <laughs> Damn, missed those. kind of want a bing bing the current games look strong um i'm drawing a blank on on that i don't want a bing bing vickers is fuming mad he is mad he's extremely mad you know and i thought about it too like realistically and you know my better half is right that <laughs> and i said this before too you know it's kind of like mm, how much do I want to invest covering and reporting the drama? But as I watch, like, the Ralph Amell stuff, or the, oh, sorry. Unironically, as I watch the kill stream, and I watch some of the other people lie, just lie about Ether Ralph, I feel compelled. 
I feel compelled to help cover the truth. Okay? It's not, it's not even, <laughs> it's not even doing it for you guys or for anybody else. It's, it's about putting the truth out there. Ralph has his flaws. He has a lot of flaws. He's a flawed man. His flaws are right there in front of you. And uh, in this hi, history. I'm here for the real world interview. You really don't have to make up much about him. But that's what they're doing now. For like content. They're just making up stuff. Making up just crazy lies. and It's weird. Like it really is fan fiction at this point. Which one? The kids were playing outside. Are you concerned about swatting? Um, yeah, that, that was that is a concern. That would be a legit concern there. Though, realistically, what's going to happen? It's not if. It's kind of a matter of when, Forget I suppose. It. And when it does happen, I'll just be here in the garage, and hopefully, I'll have another stogie, and I can like, do 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 you want to join me in a uh, a rant and chill stream? Do you do you want to watch some Japanese girls stuff? Hot dogs in their mouth? I mean, is that what we want to do here? Because I'm not doing anything illegal, officer. I live in a small town. Small town mentality. Kind of, sort of. It's one of those, uh... I, I don't know, man. I, I don't think it would go... You know, actually, if you look at the pattern of the swatting, I don't think I have much to worry about there. Because it seems like who's doing it is trying to trying to blame it on Ralph. You know? It's not an American first guy. Man, we're, we're getting deep into this here. I think what happens is my Japanese audience, they watch they watch the uh the music video reactions and the other stuff. You know what? I I've been I've been thinking, how can I create content for a Japanese audience? Like specifically for them to see <laughs> and and I'm gonna I'm gonna use the Brat King to do it. I'm gonna I'm I wanna get a I wanna take like the Brat King skits and have them overdubbed in Japanese. <laughs> That's what I wanna do. You should do a swatter bingo stream. That, you know what? That sounds like a uh, an episode of uh, Ralph Amell News Network. Uh, I'll have the suit for that. I'll have the suit for that. No, it's pretty hot here in this garage. Next time I wear that suit, I might just lose the tie. I might might go super sleaze. Or just actually, you know what? If you're gonna if you're gonna do it, you gotta you gotta commit. If I'm gonna wear that suit, I can't complain about the tie. I fucking hate ties. I hate ties. Wear a cotton Miami Vice get up. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. See, like, it's tail time. I was going to go, um, like, Anchorman the movie. I was going to be the, uh, oh shit, what was that dude's name? The, the guy who's, he likes, uh, he has that, the, the Sex Panther cologne. Shit. That thing. So a suit, but like, uh, kind of like a, a dress shirt, but kind of like open on top or whatever. You know, the collars out or whatever. You know, like, Get, get like a, a necklace. <laughs> get some rings. Put some rings on me. 
Like all sleazy. I have a super sleaze sort of like Playboy get up. <laughs> That's the future. Licking my way to the top. Let's finish these with these collectibles here. Boom, boom, boom. Bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. Yep. What are you guys saying about the blatant lies? There are blatant lies in those two emails Vicar sent to Cog. He even doubles down. He might have exposed himself to be sued. Maybe. I mean, I'm not going to go through the trouble. Uh, hello, 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 hello. Oh, wait, wait. Is there, I think there's a, is there a blood thing here? Oh, there is right there. We, we need to get that. We need to get that right there. Let's float on this table. And... Uh, let's see, right here. All right, we got a, a suspicious circle of skulls. Who do you think the coin merchant could be sued by? Me? I mean, I don't know if there was much in there. Are you talking about like sued by? Or maybe investigated? The Dymo might actually have a suit. It's 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 insane how much they fear him. They they fear his name. They fear who he is. Like I a couple months ago, the Diamo and I had a feud, had a had a war that was clearly like hyperbolic and stupid. But like even then, the reason why I made it super stupid was because he's a cartoon character. The Diamo's a character, okay? He's just a character. That's what he is. It's like and to fear him, you're you're feeling you're you're fearing someone who larps as a samurai. It. And the Daimo knows this too. I said this before. Like when he larps as a samurai, he's trying, but he's not really trying. Like it's it's a bit, right? Uh, when he first had the patch, it, there was a couple times where it was like the wrong eye. So it was like, oh, wait a second. He's he's half-heartedly doing it because, like, he knows it doesn't matter because people are still gonna freak out. It's crazy. It, it just, you know, it just exposes, it just shows that the Daimo's being silly about it. And to take it seriously is like, okay, wait a second, you lost it. Like when I did the pickaxe video, clearly I was being silly about it. Nap time. Oh, you know what I realized though? I had mowed the yard. Weedied, was super sweaty. I missed an opportunity to make another pickaxe video. I cannot get these things, can I? Uh. It's tail time. Jake wants on. Jake? No. No. No more Jake. No more Jake. No more Jake. No more Jake. I need to listen to the fans, to the dead man stands, and they're like, Jake was a mistake. Let me tell you something about Jake, okay? If, if Jake comes on, it'd be like, stop being a pussy. Sorry, wait, 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 wait. I just literally had little kids in my garage 
going from the driveway to the house. So hold on, let me watch my language. <clears throat> if uh, Jake just needs a man up, stop being bullied, <laughs> or just go with it. How many? How many of you guys have called me a fat ass, or boring, or whatever? It doesn't matter, man. Jake went on. That's silly. Let's get this one. All right. Do 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 do. Do we have any more? Has anyone in there seen Carol Ann? Pardon my tongue, darling. A little tongue now, a lot of tail. I hope we didn't miss one of those uh, on this blood bank, because I think we did. I think we did miss one. Well, we're going to have to backtrack. Amazing. Oh, look, it's Vickers. <laughs> it's like a black Vickers. He looks kind of black, doesn't he? All right, that's number four. Tilted. I like. It's messed up that uh, Cog bans grossly offensive, and anyone who who acts like grossly offensive, you know. He's afraid of him. He said some mean things about uh, grossly. That doesn't make any sense. You know, it's just mean. He's just a mean guy. That cog is. What's going on here? Okay, so I think we missed a blood thing. The odds of navigating a floating furniture field are 3,327 to 1. A look around, look around. Man, it's all over the place. I know when the camera pans around, when the camera pans around, it like, oh, there we go. There we go. We got the remote there. Slip of the tongue. <laughs> it's there we go. Time. We got them all. We got everything. Or um, Cog and the Dymo used to feud. No, not Cog. Uh, grossly. Though, I'm pretty sure Grossly hasn't turned around on the Dymo. The Dymo can still be... I I can only take the Dymo in, in small doses, okay? <laughs> All right. Hold on here. Hold on. Hold on. All right. I have to ask, though. I don't know if Grossly's still watching. How much was Dymo leaving the internet and coming back? How much of that was just a bit? Was it a bit?
kind of wonder on that. I know what you're thinking. It's tail time. First time was real. This time was fake. Yeah, probably. He probably realized he, he went too far and he came back. Like him, like the Dymo dancing around halfway naked, like that stuff. Ah, man, come on. The karaoke stuff, not my thing. Not my thing. But I, I do like how uh, relentless he is uh, as of late, especially towards Vickers. He's a fellow Ralpha male, okay? That's how I see it. So, so is DJ Axel. <laughs> DJ Axel has a lot of flaws. Ah, uh, to see the world as Keith Richards does. Huh. Okay. This is so weird. Oh, shit. God damn, this world's so fucking weird. So I'm kind of curious. Uh, I bet I bet Vickers will come back 100%. Um, if he hasn't already, he's gonna come back. What Faye's doing a cooking channel now? Come on. Who wants to watch Faye cook? She's not gonna be. Is, is Faye gonna be doing like the uh, the dank recipes that Gothic and Cobra does? See, I'll watch Cobes cook. I'll watch him cook. Shark! Now that's what I call getting some tail. <laughs> I remember. Uh, I remember Ki what well, Kiwi Farms like making fun of all the, uh, I, I guess, I, I, dude, I remember like, Kiwi Farms would make fun of uh, Faye's cooking. But watch this. She does a cooking channel. She does a cooking show. And they're probably not going to say anything about it. <laughs> or very little. We, wanted, we just want to leave that family alone, guys. Screw them. Go hard on that family. That family wants to be on the internet? Well, give them that treatment. Given that freaking treatment. They want the fame on the internet? They want to be known? Well. You're gonna, you're gonna get what? I mean, here we're gonna mess with you. I gotta see this for real because I haven't seen this. I haven't seen this. I have not seen this. I heard Faye had a cooking channel. Does does she really have a cooking channel, guys? Educate me, inform me, show me a link or something. Can I find it? Is on the Vickers channel. I want to see Faye cook. I want to see her make a tuna sandwich. I bet you she couldn't even make a grilled cheese. Bet you she couldn't make a dank grilled cheese or you put some bacon in that. Okay. Put some bacon and uh, Doritos. Um, obviously, a spicy nacho. Um, flaming hot, flaming hot lays, maybe. Flaming hot Cheetos.
if you have a if you have I know if you have a link you can't post it, but uh if you have like a channel name or something, let me know. I'll definitely check it out. Definitely check it out. All right, let's play some more of this. This is uh, my my least favorite. Uh, I guess world. Games? It's so weird, right? It's like just Cartoon Land. <laughs> so bizarre, right? Piranha. <laughs> Let's get these cans. Oh, shoot. I think you enjoyed that. That's your channel? I'm going to take a look here. Uh, wrench you for two seconds, Sponge. I'll wrench you. I'll give you a wrench. Let me uh, give you a wrench right now. Give me. I'll give you a wrench. You give me the link. Be fine. I trust you, Sponge. People say mean things about Sponge and Gross. I trust them. All right. Let's go check out her channel <laughs> and see if I get another mean message. Shut up. <laughs> okay. Okay, hold on here. Let's put this on the screen. I wasn't expecting to do this. But here we go. Here we are. I might record this as standalone. So here we are, guys. We're looking at the uh, Fay Fay, and people wonder why I call her Fay Fay Faith. It's her freaking YouTube channel. That's where that comes from. Fay Fay, Fay Fay. Okay, all right. <laughs> We're watching her bake some funfetti crumble cookies, milkshake buttercream with me. Recipe in description. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Let's see, 78 views. Uh, this video came out, what, oh, uh, June 30th, 2022. Well, um, if she wants to get on, if she wants to get the numbers of these other cooking uh, thoughts, cooking channels I watch, and I have watched quite a few. You know I have. Okay. Zoe's Kitchen. I believe that's her name. Zoe's Kitchen. Pretty good. And she wears, like, pretty much nothing when she cooks. But she has a body. She has a body that can do that. Faye does not. Faye cannot do that. Okay, that's the problem there. That's the problem. Uh, a lot of those cooking shows, in fact, there's one of this Vietnamese chick. Oh, fuck, I forgot. I'm forgetting her name. Um, Like Faux Kitchen or something. Faux, whatever. Yeah, same thing. Tits hanging out, lot of, lots of cleavage. Because that's, that's what brings people in. Okay. Faye has none of that. None of that. Let's play this. Uh, the, how could she make butter look so disgusting? It looks like a frog. Looks like she just threw a frog in there. Okay, so you get a you get a lump of butter. Oh my god! Look look at that. Disgusting, horrible. That's not even her boob. That's like her body just. Bulging out like that. She 
She didn't even wash her hands. She has some stuff on her hands from before. Wash your hands. Look at those nails. They're dirty. They're dirty, too. Who's who's doing this? Who's going to eat her freaking cake? Who's going to eat her freaking crumble cookies? Horrible. You had the chance to put the noise into the show, like some sort of nice ASMR, but you didn't do it. Man, another fell. Another fell. The dirt adds nu nutrition. <laughs> oh, there you go. She's just thinking about the kids, right? She's trying to help. Uh, she's trying to help build up their immune system. Is that what's going on there, Caesar? Uh, I like how they they still have the sticker on the freaking mixer, right? They still have that. How often do they use this? Does she want Kino Casino to play her, her uh, cooking video? She's not even wearing an apron, dude. Okay. <laughs> this is stupid. As this plays, I'm gonna let it play, and I'm gonna find, I'm gonna find some some videos that I'll compare this to. Okay, we're gonna do a little comparison first. Let me find them. How did she make that look nasty? Look at that. What she put in there? What was that? It looks like blood. It looks like blood. There's blood in that mixer. And that marker on her hand, it looked like blood too on her finger. She's, just, that's a blood cookie. Okay, she's making a blood cookie. <laughs> Got to put in the salt. I don't know, you might as well just cry into it. I'm sure you produce a lot of salt that way over your diary. Wait, wait, let's back up. There's little things you can get here. There's little things. Little things. Like, let's look at that floor. Let's look at the vicar's household. Oh, look at that countertop. Dirty. Disgusting. Ugh. Look at that. Look closely. You can see, like, roach droppings. They have roaches in their house. Disgusting. She sped it up, but it's still boring. Oh, my God. Okay. Using her unwashed hands, by the way, just a reminder. Okay. All right, let, let me let me compare that to some other cooking stuff that I have seen. The stuff I watch. Um, do do do. See, like if you're going to do a cooking show, like um, she might want to she might want to watch some other cooking shows. Uh, here's Zoe Zoe Kitchen. That one's pretty good. Uh, let's see there's another one. She's actually British. She looks Asian, but she's actually British, and she's, I mean, she she is fine. She is fine, and she cooks just fine. Uh, where is that at? I have so many, so many subs. Uh, one moment.
Waiting. Here, let me put this on the screen first. Oh, it's storming outside, guys. It's storming. It's a storming. Here's a cooking show with a Japanese idol who also does gravure, which is pretty much porn. I think she actually does JV, not just gravure. She's also a porn star. Okay, so she really needs to wash her hands. Okay, all right. But the Japanese probably actually prefer it not, not washed. Um, so... That's, she's wearing practically nothing, okay? The cooking isn't really that much of a focus. It's there, though. You might be like, well, I mean... It's not really a cooking show. It's, you know, they're... It's kind of like a, a man show or men of culture cooking show. So, okay, fair enough. Let me uh, get something else here. Take a look at my Men of Culture playlist. I saved it a long time ago. Oh, if I still have it. Oh, here we go. This is it. Kay Torres. She ain't, she ain't, she ain't, she ain't Asian. <laughs> she's like Hispanic or something, but she's lives in, in the UK. Okay. This is this is her cooking show, okay? And she focuses on the cooking. But what else does, does she have going on there? Well, she has this, guys. This is a cooking show. Okay? Look at those cinnamon cinnamon rolls yeah she's been making some cinnamon rolls okay uh look at that now she can make that outfit work nice clean space she showed that she washed her hands all right it's kind of nice to watch doesn't even have to speed it up Here's just better. Look, 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 look at that. Look at that. Like, it makes it worth watching. It makes it worth watching, guys. It's it's enjoyable. You learn how to cook, and you really enjoy the show. Okay, good stuff all the way around. Now, my sing face should do that. I would like to see Faye try. <laughs> I would like to see her try. <laughs> if we could encourage her to do that, that would be great. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, God. Anyway. What do you guys say about that, huh? Guess she needs to stick with Bukaki to pay the bills. <laughs> Glanty eyed queen dead gay. That's right, that's right, that's right. I like follow ninety percent camera I like how ninety percent cameras in her ass. It's her ass. Well that's that's how a high quality cooking show. <laughs> okay. Her channel's great, okay? Her channel's fantastic. K Torres. All right. I love this channel, it's great. I discovered it one night doing a minute of culture, going over cooking shows. Dude, it's great. It's good stuff. She can pull it off. Someone like Faye cannot. Cooking list. Here's members only. Oh, well, she's moving up in the world. Look at that. Members only. Wow. I'm not a member. Not going to be. Okay. And I put my ugly mug back on the screen, right? But we could take a look at, uh, let's see.
Let me get you another example. Let me go back to my uh, Men of Culture playlist here. One second. Another example would be this channel here. It's got Zoe Kitchen. And... It's okay. It's okay. It's not it's not as good as the ones we just saw. It's okay. Look at that. Oh wait, you can't see it. That's her. Oh wait, wait. Let's back up, back up. She can make this work for her. Okay? She could do that just fine. She's making a beef soup. Pretty good. It's more attention to the cooking. You kind of have the cleavage there. Okay. But it's not the main focus, but it's there. Not bad, not bad. Now that's a cooking show. Her face, mm, you know, yeah, it's, I think she lives in Texas too. I think she lives in Cor Corpus. Okay. Next. She's kind of like this weird mix. The, the face, not so good, right? The face is kind of like what's going on there. It's like a, it's like a weird mix of things going on conflicting the way she talks she sounds like she could be hispanic but also sounds like there's some asian in there i don't know what's going on but it's not the face what i'm saying is someone with a face like faye if she toned up her body maybe could do it i want the family to succeed <laughs> yeah the face like that nose right there. It's kind of look. It looks like it's kind of drooping down. And it's like oh, okay. Other angles, not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay. okay. And... There's one more. There's one more example I want to give you guys because I want to do this thoroughly. Okay, I want you guys to really know. Now, it's been a while since I've seen this one. And, okay, wait. I think it's called Pho Kitchen or something. It's some Vietnamese kitchen show. Now, when you start going Vietnamese, you can get some uh, interesting stuff. Hold on hold one second. Uh, see, there's some disgusting stuff that comes up real fast. <clears throat> I'm trying to find it. So I'm just looking at Vietnamese cooking show woman. And the first thing that comes up is sweet and sour cow vagina. So, I mean, the stuff they cook is nasty. All right. All right. So you're just going to be. Oh, here we go. It's got pongs. It's got pongs. Okay. Go and put this on the screen. Pongs kitchen. Pongs kitchen. Pong, pong, pong. Now, shows the dish, shows how to cook. She wears like no bra ever. Chân and Ma, các bạn ơi, hôm nay Bom sẽ giới thiệu đến các bạn một cái món ăn làm từ trứng đó chính là trứng xào với lại đậu gồng và nguyên liệu chính mà chuẩn bị gồm có thứ nhất là một ít I could watch this. I could watch. I I don't know what she's saying. I know she's cooking with carrots. And I'm glad what she's cooking is not a cow's vagina. That's just nasty. I don't even know if I could show you put that on the screen. You want me to put that on the screen? She's Asian though. Well, uh this chick not her that chick. Kay Torres is I don't think she is. 
She's like Hispanic. She has to be. The last name Torres. Uh, United Kingdoms, where she lives, apparently. But that's where she's from. She's nice, though. This chick. Let's see if we can get a, a view of her face. 13 days ago, she did How to Make Honey Cake. Let's watch blueberry muffins. Let's learn how to make some blueberry muffins, guys. Mm-mm-mm. Look at those muffins. Oh, look at look at that. Look at that. Yeah, see? A lot. A lot of learning is going on here. I am learning quite a bit. This is good stuff. I'm paying attention. Now, if you, if you like, if you want, if you want white girls, there's something I stumbled upon the other day that needs a men of culture stream, and I might do that uh, in the near future. Let me uh, continue playing this and just move this over real fast. Apparently, there's a lot of uh, white bitches that like to garden naked on YouTube, and. Okay. No problem with that. They're not really naked. Well, they're naked, but it's it's all about the ankles. It's all about the tricks. Um, let me put this on the screen here. Thank you so very much for the new charcuterie board, Ian McCree. Okay, let's... This is a white chick who likes to f uh, farm and garden and stuff. She, the channel's called, uh, okay, this is one woman's wilderness. There's music in the background. Wait, that's, I don't think this is the video. I don't think this is the video. Yeah, I don't, see, she's old. This chick's old. This is not the video. Look at that truck. Look at that truck. Nasty. You know, she's aged, guys. Don't. Sorry, I did you wrong there. I did you wrong. Look, look at those legs. She's like a granny. Okay, not good. Not good. Not good at all. Um, but people like certain angles here. You can tell where where people really watch. They like this angle coming up. Um, I guess so. That's okay, I guess. But remember, she probably has kids, and those kids have kids. Her hair is kind of graying. Okay. Like I said, I stumbled upon it. I need to do more research and I'll get back to you guys at a future Men of Culture stream. We're going to learn how to garden and take care of yard work. <laughs> You're learning on the cooking show? <laughs> Why is Devin watching Kumpate videos? That's kind of what I do, right? That's kind of what I do. It's kind of who I am. They say, be who you are, be true to yourself. That's what it is. Ah. Hey, don't complain to me if you don't have any self-control. That's what it sounds like. Sounds like you watch it be like, oh, man. But, uh, it's kind of weird to go back to playing Gex after all this. But that's kind of what it is. All right, let's put this back on here. Actually, wait, there's one more. There's one more video I could show you guys. Since we're doing videos right now. And Coombate videos. This was shared with me a long time ago. By a long time ago, I mean like earlier this year. Uh... It's good stuff. I saved it. Did I save it? Oh, come on. Here we go. Triple L Rustic Designs. These ladies. You want Kumbait? You want Kumbait? Here's Kumbait. All right, here's Kumbait. 
addition to that. These ladies are white. These ladies are white, and they're they're cutting up some logs. That's what they're doing. They're cutting up some logs. Because I care about you guys. I want you guys to survive. You guys play Rust and Minecraft or whatever survival games. Uh, Ark, Ark, Survival Evolved. I can't play that game anymore. I played it. I used to play the game years ago, but can't play that. These ladies, they're good to watch. Nice. I like how she follows through. Are, are you guys looking at the log or are you looking at the the, the other chick? Down here, and we're just gonna push it off. Gonna push it off. Let's just push it off, guys. Before we flip the log, we'll do one more one inch cut just to get another thin layer off. The one top, more one we'll inch cut. Flip it and do mm -hmm. cool. A lot of people like this. Cut off the log. Oh, yeah, I see why. I like how YouTube we'll included this. You can see where people really like. Oh, look. Yep, yeah, I see why. Yeah, just grab it and move. Come like on. It. Wait, give me. <laughs> it's Put your moving. back into it. <laughs> oh, now it is. There you go. Okay. Okay. You gotta get it going. Now this chick looks like she's kind of built, though. She looks kind of tough. All right. Okay, now we need to flip the log to make our next cut. So we'll just call in some cheap labor. All right. While we wait for the guys. But she calls in the guys to do the rest of the part. Okay. Come up here, rest of the we'll stuff. We'll take the log clamps off for them. So what we do is just twist it away from you, and then they'll they'll fall off. So if you want to get that one Interesting. down there. Okay, just turn it. And this way they'll be able to flip the log. I see. Okay. I didn't realize they had to clamp it like that. Wow. Cheap labor and one of them's Mexican. <laughs> no, he's a white guy. So now that they flipped over the log, we have to clamp it back down and just. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I didn't realize. Oh, I forgot I was streaming. <laughs> Wait a second. Uh, there's another part that's uh, people really like. This part. Let's see what's going on here. I'm starting to see why this is a favorite. But Sponge, you couldn't have done it like them. That's the problem. You could you could have done it faster. Oh, I probably could have. 
Okay. But it wouldn't look as good. I'm sorry, you you wouldn't look as good doing it. What's probably happening here, this company uses them for like creating the YouTube content and uh, I guess advertising somehow. Like their asses are advertising the business, I, I guess. Because now I'm kind of curious, what is Triple L Rustic Designs? What's going on with that? I mean, those asses are like a billboard. Jesus. That, that tall white chick? I don't care what sort of freaky shit she's in. Uh, you know, I might want to ask my better half to see if we can invite her over. You know, you know what I'm saying? It's All right. That's good. That's good. That's good. We learned stuff here today. Bronx Beats, would you cut a Vickers of that saw dead man? My plan is to find him, get him with the pickaxe, bring him to the shed, and cut him into pieces. Not in Minecraft, but in Ark Survival Evolved. Okay, that's what I plan on doing. Okay, that was weird. That was weird. That was a little strange. Lost everything for a little bit. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. So yeah, we learned quite a bit today, guys. Yes. And we're just chilling. We're just chilling some more. Let's see. Get over there. Can I beat these guys up? There we go, there we go. Hit the mailbox. Anything? Nope, that's it, that's it. That is it. I forgot about the wind. All right, let's see if we can navigate this again. Oh, shit. Brought to you by Up Chuck Chuck. Sliver the dog, baby. All right, there we go. Uh, is there like a car that comes? Because that would suck. Thank you. 
It's so goofy. This this reminds me of like uh, who framed Roger Rabbit. Such a weird movie. Get on this stuff, come on. Never the time, baby. All right, I think we get closer. Oh, shit. I think we're, I don't know where we're going. I think we're going up. There we go. Are you serious? You couldn't like use your tongue or something? That's weird. What I need to do is watch a how-to on how to play this game by win those ladies. Okay, so I guess you cannot make that one. You have to go... Okay, that's stupid. Fuck. God damn it. Piece of shit. Pardon my tongue, dog. Oh my god. Is there another way? Oh, this is annoying. And the like the generic western music is getting on getting annoying too. All right. Make that one. Let's not miss that jump. I can't even see where I'm going. Okay. Is there like another way? Oh, there we go. Wow. Fantastic. All right. All right, let's fight this boss. I think we do that now. We didn't done it before. All right, let's save. You not save. Oh, right, there we go. Gilligax. So a bunch of native motherfuckers try to shoot fireballs at you. Booga booga. Booga booga. 
needs coke, coke's clips. Why would you go? Come on, Uga Booga. Okay, we'll play some coke. Gotcha. Oh. Booga Booga. Uh, which one of you guys sings Tiny Bubbles? Booga Booga. Let's get oh, wash over the fire. He's dodging me. Got him. Booga booga. Got those crazy savages. Yeah, let's play some cobes. Play some cobes. We'll do that. We could go to uh, the Ninja Land, the Dymo place. Let's see, that's the horror place. Here's the Kung Fu Theater. And Circuit Central. Okay. Amazing. Let's get some Cobe stuff. Actually, yeah. Let's do that right now. Oh, another beer I need to get. So what's going on with Cobes? Do you guys want to do an April 2022 recap? Uh, let's see. R. Is there something new from the bog? From the bog limb chronicles. Oh, let's see. Fed up with the trolls and another grinder date arrives. Grinder? He's using grinder? <laughs> what? I want to turn out to, to be another prank. Okay, let's play this. <laughs> What's up, you crazy bastards? King Kobe JFS back at it with another video. So I'm going to do a drink combo. We got the lime and we got... Uh, it's 5 o'clock. Crack open the first one of the day. And I'm not going to cut down drinking. Like, completely. But I can't cut down. Drink less. <laughs> he can't cut you know down on saying? drinking? He, he's going to drink less? No. Okay, that, that's a lie. Yeah. I'm going to cut down I'm on drinking. I'm drinking. trans people because 100%. I support LGBTQ plus rights as long as you ain't a sick fuck. As long as you're not shoving it down people's throats. And as long as you're not a sick fuck. Or like hitting on people who aren't into it, you know? Then I got nothing to say. You're, you're living your life, dude. You know, a lot of people shit. aren't into it. That's why they want to groom it's the, the truth. kids. Young, if a dude hits on a chick at a bar, hey, baby, nice tits. And she tells him, fuck off, I'm taken. And he still keeps at it. He gets called a perv and a creep. But. But if you don't, if, if you refuse to suck a dick, you're considered. Man transitions into a homophobe. woman, starts hitting on biological shirt, women, nigga. and doing the same thing. 
and that woman's a lesbian, but she's not into. <laughs> yeah, he totally jizzed on that shirt. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Dude, that shirt is dirty. He like inked it, jizz got on it somehow. <laughs> I don't. Maybe it was on the floor. Trans women like that, she gets called a bigot and a transphobe. Fuck. Okay, that's funny. Sending tri- uh, grinder dates to his place. That's funny. That's funny. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I don't need some bullshit dating website. I walk into a fucking bar here in town and people know who the fuck I am. They're like, it's Cobra. Yeah. And one of the reasons I want to cut down on my drinking because it gets expensive. I don't get drunk nearly as quickly. And, and, you know, I want to be around for my family and my friends and my fans, you know. Crotchety old man Cobra, 86 you be years old your in his family? dream house. Your fans? Playing his carol on bells like... Ah, I did it, you fucking bastards. The right of age, cisgender to life, female will come along. <laughs> it's consenting, of course. The forbidden I five. Hate rape more than I hate mongooses. Well, fucking. At this point, hold on, wait, wait. I gotta say something. Okay. This might be kind of controversial. But Cobes has for a long time been waiting on, uh, you know, a woman of age that is alive not related and consenting and human. Um, you know, at his age, just judging the uh, appearance, he might want to, he might want to consider changing that criteria. Okay. He might not have long left to live. I don't know how old he is, but he looks like he's like probably aging quite rapidly. He's already balding. He drinks a lot more than I do. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Um, maybe you might want to change. Maybe you want, might want to consider cousins. Maybe a cousin, second cousin. I'm not saying first cousin. Maybe second cousin. He already looks kind of like a weirdo creep. Why don't just embrace it? You should just embrace it. Am I wrong there? Let me know. What do you guys think? Should Cobes should Cobes consider changing or uh, compromising on the Forbidden Five? Wait, I think he has. I'm sure he said some comments about uh, women are like younger than 18, right? I'm sure he has. Um, I, I can just tell you he has and be accurate about that. He's bought him because he used to pull his hair. Because he's stressed because he can't get a girl. He can't get a date. Well, maybe, maybe settle for dead. You can't rape the dead. They're dead. They, like, it, it's it's kind of like you're not harming them. It, it's disgusting, but I mean, you know, you, you're a you're a goth bad boy. Just embrace it. Go get your corpse bride. Got the king cobra. Get your corpse bride. That's right. He should, he should drop the clean bit, Bronx. I, I agree. Go full on dirty goth. Say he wants like a dirty goth girl. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's crazy. Look at that, folks. Cheers. Yeah. And there's a method to my madness, because if you get told no by a perfect 10 and you're able to say, you know what, that ain't shit, then getting rejected by less attractive women is not going to hurt as bad either. Huh? And that works for both sides, ladies. That's right, ladies. And the best part of it is, is that is uh, you know, dudes don't have a magical pill that can make their dick bigger. I'm d- well, actually, there's pills. They claim they work, but I don't know. Jimmy Johnson, and I recently became the spokesperson for Extends, the number one male enhancement tablet. You know what I'm saying? They don't. They really don't. But women, you have all the options. It's easier to make a pair of tits bigger than it is to make a dick bigger. And that's just anatomy. I don't give a shit, dude. As long as she's of age, cisgendered, consenting, alive, 
and non-related up to like third cousin, then it's perfectly <laughs> legal. He has he has considered cousins. Look at that. See, he's embracing it. He's he, he's already considered cousins. Just consider second cousins then. Wait. Codes. If there's not a third cousin I'll consider to you, you might want to go third cousin. Okay. Keep keep the gene pool. No, keep the bloodline pure and go. Sister. Okay? Keep the bloodline pure. Does he even have a sister? <laughs> That's so gross. Gotta keep it pure, Cobes. It's not a cringe, but fuck incest. Fuck incest. Like walking up to a female at the bar and going, Are you autistic? And she goes, No, why? Because you have a nice Asperger's and you sure are special. And of course, if they know it's King Cobra who actually has Asperger's, they get a chuckle out of it. Are like, you, oh, you're funny. Is Mr. that his Cobra. opening line you're just, at a bar? You're just fucking funny. I tell you what. Well, can I play Quidditch? Because I wanted to stick my quaffle in your goal hoop, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. My okay, broomstick what? in your... Okay. You like Harry Potter? Can I slither into your DMs? <laughs> okay, that's Pardon kind of me, funny. Pardon me, madam. Do you like Harry Potter? Can I hold the Gryffindor for you? You like Harry Potter? I'd let you raven claw my back. Oh, God. You like Harry Potter? Want to go back to my place and Netflix and chill and Hufflepuff on some weed? That's you know why they call it menopause? Because men will put their shit on pause. You're watching the game like, let's go, Falcons. Come on. Oh, fucking ref is blind. Mother. Hey, honey. Whoa, Jesus Christ. She got a mustache thicker than yours. Do you still think I'm pretty? Yeah! Are you are one of them transgenders everyone's going crazy about? No, you fucking asshole, it's menopause! Oh! Right. Um, yeah, I still. <laughs> because men will pause and freak out. Okay. Okay. That one wasn't actually bad. It was kind of long, but it, it wasn't bad. At least he rocks the chat and embraces the balding instead of ball plus beard cope, right? Right. He embraces the balding. He has thinning hair. That's fine. Um, luckily for me, I don't really, I don't think I'm gonna have that problem. My dad still has a full head of hair. It's all, it's all white, and you know, it's just my grandfather. He, he was, he was bald, or balding, but. Oh, that was real cold. I left it in the icebox a little too long. Actually, that's perfect. It was. It's kind of frosty. This beer is. I don't think you're pretty. I support gay rights, but I am straight. For of age women who are alive and cisgendered and consenting. I like how he's uh. speaking to his trolls. So the assholes who were lying about me on Grinder are the biggest fucking idiots on the planet. Because all these gay dudes who show up are getting their fucking hopes up going, yeah. And then when it turns out to be another prank or some bullshit, you're a bigger dick than me for saying the word, the F.A. word. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, technically, I'm 80% British, so I base that off the word cigarettes. Same here, guy. I'm 80% British. Wait, wait, wait. I got to see this part. I got to see this part. Oh, it didn't work, did it? Yeah, you're hoping a Cobra would answer the door and it'd be another gay dude from Grinder, and he didn't answer the door. Ho, oh, oh, ho, trolls lose again. The fact that my fucking trolls... Oh, he's drinking a Mexican soda? Shows Those I things are actually pretty good. Life. You know why I don't let it get to me? Because how fucking miserable do you have to be? You know what I'm saying? I would rather invest my time getting better at guitar, getting more subscribers on YouTube. I could give four fucks less where the fuck my trolls live. Okay, these fuckers who invest way too much time in me are the saddest closeted homosexuals on the planet. 
dude, did he just, uh, you know, for someone who's LGBTQ plus friendly, he just, he just fag shamed everybody, or gay shamed, gay shamed. Okay, he just gay shamed his audience. That's not very. That's not an ally of behavior. You know, that's actually very bigoted. Cobes, you're being a bigot right now. Okay, you need to redeem yourself. It's yeah, Mexican. The rule is do- it's Mexican orange soda, and beer. Yeah, <laughs> it's gross. On to others, if you, as you'd have done to you. And how would you feel if you were straight, and a bunch of internet assholes were like, "Oh, you know, it'd be really funny. Let's sign them up for a fake blah 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 profile and on the internet and have a bunch of them show up." Which, for the cast of police who watch my videos, that's evidence right there. I ain't that, watching uh, your videos. Some, uh, really illegal shit's going down as far as internet stalking and all that other shit, you know? It's gonna come back and bite him in the ass. Can't do anything about it. Licking that way to the top. Let's go see who it is real quick. Wait, there's something going on here in the video. Is this a visual gag? What's going on here? Wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh, I forgot that I still had the video up. Is he talking to the grinder date? Who is it? I don't know you, dude. Who is it? Go away, dude. Dude, oh, for a second, I thought he had just said jizz stains all over his shorts, like the front of it. Jesus. Look at that. Let's play that again. Look at the shorts. Like right in the crotch area. Dude. That, I don't, we can count. How many jizz stains do you see in his shorts? On his shorts. Uh, It's pretty white, right? You see, like, I see... Like five white splotches on his black shorts. You know, my trolls are going to get what's coming to them. I didn't even answer the fucking door. I'm That's like, rude to the grinder guy. I know you? That's rude. They you walked answer. away. It was like. You need to answer. They're That's gonna rude. get what's coming to them, YouTube. You think this shit's funny until it happens to you? So keep it up, because it's going to come back and bite you in the ass hard. My YouTube trolls are a bunch of pieces of shit. Everyone knows I'm straight. Of age women who are alive and cisgendered. Yeah, and that's just gonna be you need to settle stamped. for dead. For my fans. Yeah, the dude left. That's you know, he already know who it fuck it, what it was. And you know, that's just gonna be time stamped for uh future evidence. The trolls are gonna keep digging themselves into a deeper hole and eventually they're going to geek so deep that people are like, look, okay, yeah, Cobra could be an asshole. He's controversial, but at the end of the day, he's, he's not afraid to be himself, you jealous fucking losers. That's why I get so much fucking hate. It's beyond sad. Cobra's trolls can't handle his going live, so let's fuck with him. It didn't work. He didn't get mad. It, he, they didn't get nothing. It was just a really lame, dumb, he didn't freak out and have a spur of the moment over it. Trolls lose again, I guess. <sighs> so a freshly slayed troll. The trolls didn't lose, though. They got your reaction. That's ladies. kind of what they wanted. Get yourself some tactical soap. Links description box below. And with coupon code King Cobra, you too can smell like a ladies' man. The tactical soap works on the of age ladies. I've seen it firsthand. You, know, you got a chick who barely doesn't even know you, and it's just, holy yeah, fucking shit, you smell good. You and it's like, yeah, they can't help themselves. It's just that, uh, it's that soap, man, I'm telling you. <laughs> that soap is that good, huh? The majority of my trolls are like wait, wait, underage, wait. not those punk kids. If that soap is that good, how is he struggling to get a cisgendered uh, human woman of right age... That is alive and non-related. Oh, and cons- consenting. Oh, and that, that's forbidden. Six there. 
kids who aren't even old enough to drink alcohol and steal money for cigarettes out of their mom's purse and then they get grounded and they, they never squeeze boob other than the time when their mom breastfed them so they're just miserable little incel pieces of shit virgin cuck soy boy losers and they know when they're cucking is themselves because it's just like they'll never be as good as me man because the majority of adults who watch my videos and the majority of people in general are just like eh, that kid's cool and the ones that are not like that okay the majority of people who are watching my videos as adults and go i hate cobra you're fat heroin abusing pieces of shit oh your dick hadn't been touched in five years fuck off with it which is exactly how my Don't be mad at whip it. still able to work thank you females on chatter baby yeah yeah you know, when a bunch of my true fans get together and they're just like, you know what, I'm yeah, tired of seeing our boy get fucked with like that. I know, man, it's pissing me up kind of thing, right? Eventually they start going after you fucking assholes. So here's some something to think about. You think you're safe in your little fucking discords and your little fucking subreddits? How do you know that my fans won't impersonate and pretend to be a troll just to gain your fucking trust? You get to about 45, 50 years old, and you finally get your student debt paid off, but half of your fucking life is gone. Uh, just so you can spend the other half of it doing what you got your degree in. And then just to get like half... That's a weird segue. We went from talking about trolls, now to talk about student debt. Halfway through your 50s, 60s, you're like 75, 80, and you're unhappy with life, and then you're just like, well, shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, my trolls are so oh, fucking yeah. lonely, yeah, miserable like pieces of shit. If they're going to pick on a bunch of innocent gay dudes who don't even know Cobra, they don't even know what he's about or any of it, they're, they're just lonely too. And it's like, yeah, Cobra's lonely too, but he's not like that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, there's just layers to fucked up to it. You know what I'm saying? And I refuse to get mad about it. I'm sitting here as calm as can be just laughing about it. Cause it's like, bro, my trolls are questioning their sexuality and it's so goddamn obvious. They just are trying to help you, Cobes. Uh, trying to help you realize that you are... Thanks for the money that, that you're you sending me on hold. Gay. I appreciate that. I want to call PayPal tomorrow and get it off of hold. So you're just going to make King Cobra JFS even richer. Yeah. You put the money on hold on PayPal, I'm not going to answer your shit. It's going to go directly into my account. Otherwise, I'm not going to fucking answer it. So if you want to waste your time and your fucking money just to have your shit not answered... Well, I guess Cobra wins again. I'm trying to play an awful stupid like. Well, hello. You have sixteen dollars in your cash app. Thanks, guys. Sixteen dollars. Take a break from ranting about women's rights and supporting abortion and women, and you know. Ah. I got of age girls showing me their titties and. Well, it makes sense. It's pretty metal, right, to support baby killing. Yeah, dude. Very metal. Yeah, you know what's real metal? Yeah. Killing babies in the womb, man. You know, they're all inside the mother's womb, dependent on her for life, for sustenance. But she decides it's an inconvenience, so she wants to go to a doctor to get a power tool shoved up her cunt. And mutilate the baby. That's metal, man. I'm not going to share those. Those are for me only. Fucking, I got fans donating money. It's all a bonus to what I do. What's really important is that the people who tune in to watch me go live. Like, <laughs> hey guys, this number texted me and told me to kill myself. You know what I say? Fuck suicide. You know, I want to text them back. You first. I want to watch. It's the truth. I'll have one this other. <laughs> the only retard here is you. You should kill yourself because you have nobody. I have more than you'll ever have. Big old middle finger to my trolls. Come on, what else do you got to say? I get off on your attention. I got all day for this crap, dude. Yeah, I, it's bigger than yours. 
<laughs> yeah. Come on, what you got? What else you got? It's a game. I'm in, I'm being entertained by my haters now. This is quite fun. How much control I really have over them. I bet they're getting so mad right now. I love it. I'll drink to that. I just got another thirty dollars. The trolls hate me because they can't beat me, dude. Trolls say oh, my fucking they can't god, beat that's me. too fucking funny. <laughs> Yeah, and you're jealous I'm old enough to drink and you're some stupid little fucking bitch in his mom's basement. Every time you text me, Cobra wins. I want to drink to fucking your mom later. <laughs> Holy crap, they literally it's sent gross. me like two paragraphs. Jesus Cobes, Christ, that's so I'm winning mean. right now. Every time that they text so me. Mean. <laughs> that was a fucking your mom. That's joke. a bunch of rumors. I'm straight for of age women. My dry spill is still going, and he's I don't just talking care to trolls on his phone. You know, you know, I'm pissing my trolls off when they're can. Now that I pissed them off on stream, they're continuously texting me the same shit over and over and over, and it's like, yeah, I'll die when I'm ready to die. When it's my time, I don't give a fuck when I die. I don't give a fuck how it happens. I don't give a fuck when it happens. I'm living life to the fucking fullest. Drinking beer, smoking pot, making fans, making Is he a Ralph Mill? Shredding guitar, dude. Yeah. I'm gonna order some goods. A pack of cigarettes, some beer. Maybe the six pack of bottles. Oh, there you go. That's two six packs and a pack of cigarettes. That's enough. Oh, he's getting he's getting alcohol just delivered to him? That's nice. If anyone's mom should have fucking it. swallowed, it's my fucking YouTube trolls. Oh, but wait, my trolls probably have a broken home where their mom and dad fight all the time. Maybe their dad drinks too much or their mom fucking beats them with the belt. And then some kid rapes them at school and no one does anything about it. And instead of being like, hey, you know what? God damn it, no! Reaching out and getting help for it. They attack somebody who they see as different. That's right. I'm starting to think my trolls were molested because they won't stop his trolls were molested? harassing me for it. It's like Cobra hates sickos. What's your obsession with it? You know. Wait, what? Tampon porn's a thing? <laughs> oh God. No. As a teenage Fuck. male, I was horny enough to jack off to Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition. I didn't give a fuck if they were naked. I was like, of age titties. Uh, Miss March. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, if you have to, like, drug a chick to get laid you ain't got no game dude and you're a little fucking pussy bitch wait wait the real man Hold walking on. in you're like <laughs> yeah can i buy you a drink let me let me interject here guys guys if you have to drug a chick because you can't get laid do you have do you have no game is that true i mean bill cosby <laughs> just... no one knew for the longest time who was america's dad okay he was seen as a source of wisdom. A lot of the stuff that Cosby used to say was actually pretty good. Pretty good points. Uh, anyway. You know, you, you make her think, but also make her laugh. That's the key to it. Like, There's a cobra doll? Hey, can I interest you in a stiff cock? Excuse me? Let me finish. Stiff cocktail. I'd like to buy you a drink. Where's your mind, honey? Shush. Don't call me honey. Okay, girl. Goddamn. Why are you so fucking edgy? How many guys have hurt you? Whose balls do we go to step on? God damn it, motherfucker. <laughs> Regardless of gender, you gotta accept the consequences. Regardless of gender. Of Regardless of it's getting a chick pregnant or not. Well, the consequence, That's they have no consequence. Roe v. Wade. Now, that, now they can just, you know. Oh, we're not trolls, Cobra's got your drink of the day. Who's that thirsty troll? Yeah, the trolls are about to clock. They want to be horse. Pick up. All this technology and Shatner still can't. Come on, man. 
What the fuck? Bullshit. What the goddamn whore monkey was that shit? What the piece of... What was that garbage nonsense? The robot hits me and I freak out and I fall back down? What the nonsense is that? Bullshit. Bullshit. We got some Marlboro Red cigarettes. That was Absolute quick as shit. Bullshit there. And I go through the company so often that they know who I am. They're like, he's definitely old enough. <laughs> Getting ID'd at 31, you're making me feel young again. This is still young. All right, let's do this ass. quickly. Oh, here we go. And even though I got a whole 12 beers to my name, I don't feel like drinking the rest of them tonight. In fact, I might have one more beer after this when I get on a stream and then... I feel good. Like, I've noticed that cutting down on... Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't listening to anything you were saying at that point. That robot pissed me off, clearly. There's a mutilated sex doll. Gross. Does it happen Alcohol, here? Alcohol, I get drunker and get to that point quicker, and it's less money. I've accepted that I'm going to die at a very young age. Like, I'm not even worried about it at this point. You want to get to that age, it's just like, it's something to look forward to. Like, you've punched in for your shift, to now you get to clock out. You put in an honest, hard, hard life worth of work, and you've accomplished many things. So now it's like, okay, next avatar, please. I would take a bullet for Ozzy Osbourne. He's got more fans. What the hell? I would not take a bullet for Ozzy Osbourne. I'd give him a bullet. He needs to be put down. He's done. He's done. It's like Old Yeller, okay? All right. It's it's like you have a dog that's like crippled, busted hips, pain itself. Doesn't even even know where it's at. You just have to put it out of its misery. You know. He's got an awesome family. I mean, I have a family too that loves me, but like fucking trolls. Okay. A bunch of gay dudes are like, oh, Cobra's a sexy motherfucker. Oh, I'd love to fuck that. And then they fucking they get their hopes up, like, finally they might have found the one, and it's just my fucking trolls pretending to be me kind of thing. Cobra wants a girlfriend. He's lonely, but he's waiting patiently. All these gay dudes are <laughs> New grinder date on the way to accept them and for them to find somebody on top of it. And it's like, you don't care. You just want to see Cobra react to it. You know, and that just shows you that my trolls are the biggest pieces of shit. Huh. And even though I'm being trolled like this, I'm like, you know what? I hope those gay dudes showing up to my door, I hope they find a man to make them happy. Because Cobra is such a fucking homophobe, right? Kiss my fucking ass, burgers. I don't need alcohol to be proud of my heritage, YouTube. Like, as long as you ain't a sicko, be a proud white man. I'll catch you later. Yeah! Okay, 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 okay. Is there a video about him mutilating a sex doll? What's this? Gothic King Cobra sex doll. Oh, shit. Oh, that's a long time ago. Wait, wait, wait. There's a so that's a four hour video. The saw, uh, the, the the saga of the sex doll. How long am I streaming here tonight, today? What am I doing here? Am I just gonna be streaming all day? Yeah, like three. Well, 
I guess we could. This is the sex doll, isn't it? What I did was rather eerie, to say the least, yes, but out of sexual frustration. Stop, stop. So now we're watching we're watching Gothic King Cobra, uh, the Lord of the Sex Doll stuff. What is what is this? It's playing some music, copyright music, probably. Um Okay. What did what did he claim? Okay. Josh received the sex doll as a gift from, from a fan. Okay. And he like mutilated it. He claimed some no good punks broke into his apartment and stole the doll and his wig. That music's really copyright. I recognize that song. The Casper has no leads. Josh lost his friend. Oh, that was her? Then, <laughs> then something happened. Josh had a secret. He couldn't keep up the ruse. He mutilated the sex doll, didn't he? He murdered the doll. He hadn't even named her. What a monster. If he had, would he have named her Bailey? Maybe. What a monster. Who murders a sex doll? Now we'll never know. We'll never get a skit. Homeboy Scotty is devastated. What Josh did was not right. And... God, that music. Like, I... Josh keeps cutting things up after he has sex with him. Which begs the question, has anyone seen Stephanie since they broke up? Uh-oh. Cobes, are you a bad boy? Are you a true goth bad boy? Hey. Maybe he did. Maybe Cobes sliced up Stephanie. Took her soul. That's right. Rest in peace, Queen Cobra. <laughs> November 11th and November 12th. <laughs> you know, you put the time there, and it's like, okay. It didn't, that didn't last long. That didn't last long at all. That's like throwing leftover steak, leftover meat out in the backyard to the dogs. That's not going to last long at all. I can eat that up real fast. Okay. We got to learn more about this lore, though. It's a weekend. It's a long weekend. I'm not doing anything. I have beer. American beer. Younglin. Younglin uh, lager. Oh, it's probably it's probably made in Mexico, isn't it? Let's see. The can doesn't tell me anything. In fact, the can has a fucking QR code. I hate that shit. You know, I I'm I'm not really a boomer age wise, but like I feel like a boomer in spirit. Because when I go to a, a restaurant now and they have QR codes for menus, I'm like, I don't like. What am I supposed to do? Just scan that with my phone? <sighs> okay. Can you just give me a menu? This paper doesn't cost that much. You're not you're not doing that much for the environment. Thank you. Just give me a fucking menu, please. God damn it. It's not that hard. And you can't be like, oh, I'm going green. We're we're using less paper now. 
You're not even making a dent, so shut up. All right, let's go fire up a stream. I mean, we're already streaming. Let's fire up a video. The doll was multiple thousand. Yeah, those dolls are not cheap. Those dolls are expensive. Uh, we have the unboxing. We have the doll saga. Let's do the doll saga. 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 Follow me. I got plenty of hot chicks that follow me on Facebook. You just one less. You know, I'd also go back in time and I'd tell myself, hey, don't cheat on stuff. Okay, the, the cover music, but okay. Definitely. I, I would ask my fans to chip in. Give up on love and companionship, man. D cup. That looks so creepy. And it broke on me when I used it. Let's Who's this Tommy guy? Leave it at that. I'm still suspecting that you're still not giving us the whole truth. Wait, does Gothic King Cobra have a Discord? Can I join his Discord? Dude, I actually been thinking about doing a video that I think would definitely get Cobra's attention. But I'd have to do it 100, like 100% top notch. Autistic, um, it, it will be perfect. I just have to do it. I will get his attention for sure. It has to be convincing. He has to believe it's real. We're going to go dark is what I'm saying. Okay. To make that bit work, we're going to go dark. I'm going to tap into my old uh, satanic ways <laughs> to make that bit work. Anyway. Let me uh, let me change the description of this live stream since we're doing Gothic and Cobra stuff too. Let me do that as well. Gothic and Cobra. Um, uh... All right, and we're going to go ahead and play the uh, the rest of this, this Cobe saga of the sex doll. Stalking women and checking them out too much, you know. But holding up the doll's dismembered face. But let's, let's face it, people, let's face it. The craving was so bad that I could taste it. It just screams pathetic, doesn't it? So I can build my gothic princess if I had that kind of money. If I had known it was going to get the news involved. You know what, Felicia? You don't need to be a... After my heat of anger was over, I could have handled that situation a lot better. But it is what it is, you two. He murdered that doll. He murdered that doll. It was gifted to him. It was thousands of dollars by, by the biggest fan he's ever had. He murdered probably the whole community. They they probably got together and funded that doll, funded the you know got the money together to you know, pay for it. So he pissed off his whole community. Preamble, okay. What's up, you two? What's up? Serious King Cobra JFS was another video. Thank you all for wishing me a happy birthday on the 26th of March, which was Wednesday. I'm now 24 years old. Yep. So I went on a date recently, and... I felt it could have gone just a little bit better, but such is life. 
Now, being as I didn't have a car, she picked me up. I asked her, where'd you like to go where to eat? And I already picked a restaurant. And went to the restaurant, everything was cool. We're sitting down there. We ordered our food, we got our drinks, sitting there talking, you know. Yeah, we don't have that much in common, but we're still making it work. You know, we see what, what happens, you know. And after we get there, we're sitting there waiting, you know, and then... No, I don't believe him. Food's leaving. Bronx, he's lying. Dessert. No one yeah, broke in. Contemplating dessert. You don't... No one's going to break in to an apartment in the in the projects, okay? All right. I mean, unless they know you have something that they want. They're not going to break into his house. No one's doing that. I managed to accidentally spill my drink in her lap. And I look at that, and I'm like, that just happened. And I'm sitting there apologizing, like, I'm so sorry. And she goes, oh, no, no, it's fine, it's fine. And then she goes to excuse herself to go to the restroom so she can dry her skirt. I'm sitting there like, uh... And people are watching this whole thing go down on tables around us. And I'm going to turn to these people. I'm like, hey, you got a fucking staring problem or what? But I didn't say that. I just kept my mouth shut. I'm sitting there like, you got to be fucking shitting me. Well, she comes back and... You know, like, do you want to get dessert? And she goes, actually, no, I'm kind of full. I'm like, yeah, me too. So then I said, well, do you want to go back to my place for a minute and hang out? And she goes, yeah, sure, why not? I'm like, all right, sweet. So we get back to my place for a minute. And uh, we're talking and talking. And uh, we start kissing and fondling and all that good shit. And I'm like, all right. I'm thinking to myself, maybe this date won't turn out so bad after all. Oh, shit. Cove's about to get laid. And I'm getting to the point where she's completely naked, and I'm almost naked. I'm down to my freaking pants, and I'm free-balling on the date, so I'm not wearing any fucking underwear here. And um, I pull down my pants, and she looks down at my cock, and she says, oh, hell no. I said, whoa, 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 what? And she goes, that's way too big. That ain't going anywhere near me. Maybe for you, but shit, I'll, I'll be gentle. And she goes, no, 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 this isn't going to work out for us. When... She basically put her clothes on and left. And as she was leaving, this is what she told me. She said, if you made more money and your dick was smaller, I'd consider going out with you. Yeah. Okay. What? This sounds so far-fetched. I would normally not believe a story like this, but the way he's telling it, it seems what he's not like I don't know. Got to on this one. I believe the date happened. He went back to his place. But something happened to where she left him. Did he really make a move and she did not want it? What's interesting, too, is when he's telling the story, he's not stalling for time. He's not trying to struggle. And it doesn't strike me as one that's going to like re, uh, rehearse a story over and over again to get it just right for camera. Um. I think I'm going to go with the date was real. They get, but you know what? They, he, she probably didn't even go to his place. That part didn't happen. That part did not happen. I, I'm going to go with that. I, I don't, I don't believe this story. 100%. More like she smelt him. Yeah. Yeah. Something, even if dude, she goes to his place, goes inside, like, oh, God, it's horrible in here, and leaves. I'm sitting there. She left, pondering that for a second, going, hmm. Well, you're lost then. And maybe the day would have, would have went a little bit more smoother if I hadn't spilled the drink in her, in her lap and shit, but whatever. And right as she was leaving, too, she's all like, like I said, she was all like, yeah, you know, if your dick was smaller and you made more money, I might consider dating you. I'm like, 
All right. Make more money and shrink your dick. Come on, Cove. Let's get with the program. Sorry, I can't help you with that. I'm like, well, people might say things like, well, Josh, you can get a penis reduction surgery and get a better paying job. But I go, fuck that. Yeah, don't actually don't do that. <laughs> One, I'm not getting no goddamn reduction surgery, man. I'm very happy with the size that I have right now, damn it. Size 13 and a half shoes, huh? <laughs> You have to say about a man's big feet. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. I wear tr- I wear 12, 12 and uh, I, you know, come on. I'm I'm a grower, not a shower. So come on now, come on. Let me just tell you, Cobes, four inches ain't big. Four inches ain't big. Okay, you're gonna have to learn how to really work it. The problem is she smelled you. The problem is she took one look in your apartment and was like, "No, I'm not doing this." But as I'm sitting there, I'm thinking, you know, that's not the first time I've heard a girl say it was too big. That's pretty much how I lost my first girlfriend. I'm like, well, that kind of stinks. Deja vu moment. Just fucking tired of being single. But nothing I can do, nothing I can do about it right now. <coughs> so, um, I pretty much have one option. That's... Wake up, wake up every morning alone, and then go to bed at night, whenever I feel like it, alone. That's pretty much my option right now, you know, because, uh, yeah. I like how dark and seedy it looks. Who knows, I can meet that one girl one day that, I can meet that one girl one day that I really connect with really well, and we're just perfect for each other, you know what I'm saying? And, like, freaking... I can miss out on. I can miss out. Was it really the quality of streams back then? It kind of has like this, like, like it's like you could visually see the fumes in the room. On that, if I kill myself, the thought of me meeting a, meeting a girl that finds me attractive, I find her attractive, both mentally and physically. You know, it's a, it's a wonderful feeling to think about you two, but. It's also a dream. Reality is, I'm not that attractive, and I'm kind of creepy. So, you know, getting a girlfriend is not exactly the easiest thing in the world for me. And YouTube, I've had people, I've had my friends tell me, like, dude, I can get you a girl. I can get you. It's carbon and monoxide poisoning. And I laugh, and I go, dude, you got, you got your work cut out for you. And then my friend's response to that is, dude, I've had people, I've helped, I've helped people way uglier than you get laid. That's what my friends have said. They said, and I quote, I've helped people way uglier than you get laid. I go, where have you now? The biggest issue for me is I have a very low self-esteem when it comes to attracting the opposite sex. I have a very low self-esteem, and I have no confidence in myself whatsoever. Despite being a decent guitarist and a damn good singer, King is in your name. And Josh has been nothing but utmost nice, dude. Like, at, like, the worst of times, funny. Because, like, yeah, I've seen him get, you know, grumpy and mad. Dude, I was sleeping on that fucking, that couch or futon thing right there. And he fucking got so mad one time because he stubbed his toe on this fucking banana chair, which no longer exists here. But, <laughs> you know, it, it was funny, but, like, seeing him mad, I, I, I had to help him out, you know? And, like... No, I stubbed my toe on the banana chair, and that was just, I don't know, I must have had a really it. bad day that day, because I went fucking Super Saiyan 4 and just smashed that banana chair to Oh, pieces. yeah. Well, you stubbed your toe pretty hard. I, I woke up to her, and I, One second. And I was like, oh, fuck, I wake up, and I just fucking see you just fucking going ham at that banana chair, just picking it up and smashing it, going bananas, dude. I was like, oh, fuck. Like, I looked at you, like, are you okay? I think you didn't have cigarettes, too, dude. Yeah, I was out of cigarettes, too, and that really made it worse. That's why, like, when I woke up, I grabbed my pack that I got from my mom. Fucking give you a couple, dude. What's up, YouTube? Anyway, I'd like to, um, talk to you about, uh, the day I got my first kiss by a girl. I remember the day quite fondly, ditching PE class my senior year of high school. I walked about maybe four and a half blocks from NC 
to sit down on this abandoned house on the step of it and uh, I'm sitting there smoking Salem full flavored cigarettes listening to Cradle of, I was listening to Cradle of Filth these two really cute girls come walking by they were both homeschooled and they sit down next to me to smoke a cigarette with me and stuff and um, I don't remember how the conversation had come about but somehow they'd found out that at the time I had never been kissed by a girl before at that time and one of them even though she already had a boyfriend felt so bad for me she took pity on me and she let me kiss her on the lips and the first thing I said was wow you know you get your first kiss from a girl it's pretty uh, it's pretty significant but then I come home and I walk by my dad and he's uh He's all like, you smell like cigarettes, boy. Give me your cigarettes. And even though I was old enough to smoke. T Did I miss his first real kiss? When was your first real kiss, guys? Um, I couldn't even tell you. I couldn't even tell you. Tobacco in the United States of America. I still got my cigarettes taken away. And I got an ass chewing about how bad tobacco is for you. Now, the way I look at it, even if you quit cigarettes or tobacco of any kind, you have no right to give somebody else shit for using cigarettes or tobacco because even smoke if you up. quit, you still used it at one point. Right, smoke up. Um, Everyone should be smoking. And that little smoke, bubble smoke, of happiness smoke. I had popped, completely gone. And I, I was pissed that day. Like... That's just life in a fucking nutshell, man. Ups and fucking downs. Well, here's an up. You get your first kiss from a girl. Here's a downer. Your old man takes away your fucking cigarettes. And I never went to my dad. Your old man, screw you, man. I made my own decisions. I smoke up. At all. For advice on girls. Fuck that shit. And after that day, I made damn sure that I'd never do that. Because that was just, that just flat out pissed me off. I've, I'm never going to forgive my dad for that, man. And it's, it's very, it's very typical of fathers to give their sons shit about girls they like. You know, that's very typical father-son behavior. But I fucking hated it growing up. Especially when I was getting bullied in school. Okay, let me tell you something. My dad, for real, when I was in middle school and high school, in middle school and junior high, um, various days I would see him. He was constantly at work. So when I did see him, he'd be like, um, I can hear my neighbor watching Stranger Things. The last episode. It's, it's pretty good. It's a good episode. Sorry. But after, after school, when my dad was home, you ask me, son, did you get a phone number? I'm like, what? Did you get a phone number? Yeah, you have a phone number? You got some phone numbers? You got phone numbers? Come on. Are you getting numbers from girls? Uh, no, dad, I'm not getting numbers. Son, tomorrow, go get a number. Just just go get a number. Come on. Get a phone number. You got to get one. So it's like <laughs> my dad was encouraging me to be a, I don't know, just be chasing women And that's how I became who I am. <laughs> that explains why I do what I do. Anyway. And the girls I liked fucking rejected me left and right. Just just to come home and have my dad give me shit about girls I like that didn't like me. You know what I'm saying? I fucking hated it. And then I'd hear about how many girlfriends my fucking dad had in high school. Like, I don't give a shit about your conquest, old man. Seriously. But if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. You know, if I spend the rest of my life without getting another girlfriend, at least I'll, I'll play the taste fight uh, later. I will. Won't die not knowing what it does, what it feels, what it doesn't. You know what I'm saying? Like at least I'll know what it feels like before I die. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's times I wished I never would have met Stephanie. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Because 
before you've had your first girlfriend and all that, you know, you, you wonder what it feels like. You crave it, and yet you, you don't know what you're missing out on. And once you've actually had it, it's a lot worse because then you know what you're missing out on. You know what I'm saying, YouTube? That makes any sense? It does. Let me tell you something, man. You know this is true. This goes deep. This goes literature, ancient literature, like Greek texts about the power of the box, of the box, of the pussy. Okay? Okay. Pandora's box. What is Pandora's box about? It's not a literal box. It's not a literal jar. It's about pussy. It's about the power of pussy. That's what it's about. How exactly did I get these two these two pizzas and the drink, which came to about fourteen dollars and fifty cents? Well, I went down to the money loaner's place, and they loaned me fifteen bucks, and I owe them twenty bucks. You got a loan for a pizza? So what? That's not, that's not going to be a problem to pay off. You got a loan for a pizza. My birthday's this weekend. I might get some birthday money. And like considering it me 15 bucks. And I owe them 20 bucks. Down to the money looks on the 30th. So that's not, that's not going to be a problem to pay off. Considering my birthday's this weekend. I might get some birthday money. And also, I get paid on the 30th. Now, when I walked into the money place, I thought that I could get a loan for $200. And that's not going to happen. So, the most they could give me was 15 <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you went to a payday loan place for 200 bucks? <laughs> They're going to laugh as that sounds. I'm sorry. You went 200 bucks? Let's back the story up. Let's back the story up real fast. This is King Cobra talking about how he got a payday loan for pizza. What? Dollars. <clears throat> Let's back this up. And then I'm not gonna pop off me fifteen bucks. And I, Let's back this up. I went down to the money loaner's place. You went down to the money loaner's place for fifteen bucks? And a payday place. They loaned me fifteen bucks. And I owe them twenty bucks. And you spent that money on pizza and and a soda. You might as well just spend it on booze or whatever. Thirtieth, so that's not that's not going to be a problem to pay off. Considering my birthday's this weekend, I might get some birthday money, and also I get paid on the thirtieth. Now, when I walked into the money place, I thought that I could get a loan for two hundred. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry. Uh, do you have any credit? Uh, does Gothic and Cobra have any credit? Any credit whatsoever? Anything at all? He walks down to a payday place, payday loan place, for money. He, he's asking for 200 They give him 15 I wish I could have been there. You wish you could have been there. A fly on the wall. Damn. Because you know for a fact that they laughed at him in his face. Like, ugh. It's either that... What do you think happened? Do you think they laughed at him in his face? Or were they like, oh, poor you. Oh, oh, poor you. Poor you, Josh. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, no, sugar. All we could do is 15. Just 15. Okay. And you know what? We don't even pay, pay us 20. I bet you they kind of didn't expect that money to be paid. They kind of wrote it off. And that was like the only loan he was ever going to get from them. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't go down to a payday loan place ever. Don't ever consider that. Ever. You want... Don't come to me for financial advice, okay? I'm actually in a... Uh, I realize that we did the budget. My wife and I we did the budget. Uh, we're kind of, we're kind of in, a, in, a, in a predicament right now. We can easily get out of it, though. But don't go to a payday place. That's that's the advice I can give you. Do not go to that. Ever. 
There you go. That's my advice. Dollars and that's not going to happen. So the most they could give me was fifteen dollars, and then I owe them twenty bucks on payday. So you know, YouTube. I came this close, YouTube, this close to selling my green my green chopper at a pawn shop today. This close. Green chopper? Is YouTube, that his bicycle? This close. But there's a super long line, and I drag my bike into the pawn shop, and there's a line in front of the counter already. I'm sitting there waiting, and I look down at my bike, and... I says to myself, I can't do it, man. I can't sell my bike. That's the only mode of transportation I have. And that bike is a hell of a lot faster than walking. That's for damn sure. And then as I'm riding away from the pawn shop, I think to myself, you know what? If I sold my bike, I think I'd instantly regret it. Considering yep. that I paid $857 for it. Oh. And I know for a fact that Mr. Money wasn't gonna give me the full amount. Of course you know? not. I guess if, when I do meet Bailey and she has lost interest, then I'm giving up. That, and I, you think I'm joking, but I'm being totally serious here. That if I meet Bailey and she's totally lost. So this is all the preamble for him getting the sex doll. Do I need to watch more of the preamble or, um, well, let's. It's a long song. Okay. There's more I need to get, right, to understand the situation. I think we could skip past the preamble and go to the pocket pee. One of the other new t-shirt that I got. And on the bottom of it, it says, In League with Satan. <laughs> and on this side, it says... Live like an angel. <laughs> I'll tell you guys, guys, what if there was a video out there that's soon to be out there in the future that was convincing that it was from, like, the Dark Lord himself speaking directly to Cobes? What if that can happen? All you need is a dark room, some smoke, and a scary mask with a hood. And just say some weird things to Josh. <laughs> Remember to recycle your tape. Okay. A fallen angel, yeah. Well, anyway, this is um King Cobra JFS with another video. Thank you for watching, and I'm gonna catch you all later. <clears throat> What's up, YouTube? I have something to confess. I don't find a need for sexual encounters and companionship. Like yeah, most now. men my age, that's all they can think about half the time is sex, 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 sex. Yes. Me, on the other hand, I don't care. Like, I really don't. And when every time any of my friends are trying to set me up with a girl, they show on my uh, Facebook profile pic. Well, basically, I get told no because of the way my Facebook profile pic looks. And I suppose I can't get mad because I have ridiculous standards too. I mean, my standards aren't that ridiculous when it comes to dating. At least when it used to come to dating. But I've just decided to basically give up on love and companionship and sex. Like, I have no need for it at all. And to be quite frank, I kind of hate sex, actually. Okay. To be quite honest. Really? I think sex is disgusting. It causes way too much fucking drama in people's lives. And if you're not causing drama, you're causing pregnancy. You mind, this is, this is a compilation about a sex doll, so that's how disgusting it is. And if you're not causing someone to get pregnant, 
you're catching shit. And it's just like, no. It's just like, no, YouTube, no. Say no to sex, I guys. I can't, I can't fucking stand it, man. I still find women attractive, okay? I still find the opposite sex very attractive. I can't change that. But I just, I don't want companionship right now, and I don't want sex. Like, I'm, I'm grossed out by the idea of it, you know, if that makes any sense. And maybe if I'm grossed out by the idea of having sex, not necessarily the, the idea of companionship. But I can't get a girlfriend to save my fucking life right now. So what is the point of having, you know, the craving? For, what, what's the point of having a craving that you can't satisfy? Just so, the other so day. So take care of the craving, I guess. What? When I got this Pentagram t-shirt, this thing came with it. Now, I haven't used it yet, but what I did was I, I pulled off the sticker on the front and that little thing of plastic that was surrounding it Whoa. right here. And I'm like, what in the actual fuck is this? He made a pocket pussy. Did he receive that from a fan? When I got this pentagram t-shirt, this thing came with it. Now, I haven't used it yet, but what I did was I, I pulled off the sticker on the front and that little thing of plastic that was surrounding it right here. And I'm like, what in the actual fuck is this? Oh, there's a lid. You unscrew it and it's, oh look, I think one of my fans might have sent me a pocket pussy. Oh, that's fucking adorable. Ha, <laughs> ha, oh, am I supposed to fucking use this? I see, I'm glad people seem to think that my lack of sex is a laughing matter. I'm glad people think that, oh, this poor bastard needs a tenja. Whatever the fuck that is. Huh. Huh. I'm glad people seem to think that me... Not the King Cobra's fans care about him. They care about him, man. They want to make sure he's satisfied. They gave him a pocket pussy. Dude, that's more than you guys ever given me. Okay? Actually, no, you guys help me out. And get McNuggets for my kids. Actually, though, I did kind of scam you guys on that. Anyway. Not having sex for practically a year is funny. Yeah, because guess what, YouTube? I have not been laid in an actual year. Oh, yeah. And it wasn't by choice, mind you, at first. At first, it wasn't by choice. At first, I'm like, what the hell? Why can't I get a girl to like like me? You know what I'm saying? Like, this is ridiculous. And honestly, I felt a little bit insulted when I got this. Like, when I got this, I'm like, what the fuck is it? I see the sticker, and I'm like, it says peel off. Okay, so I peel it off. <laughs> it and then I the see sticker. this plastic right here, and I peel it off the plastic around here. And then it's just like, what the fuck is it? Is this, is this supposed to be a lid? And then when I pulled it off and stuck my finger in it, and I'm like, oh, this is supposed to be one of them pocket pussies. Ha. <laughs> oh, that's fucking funny. He put his finger in it, and immediately he's like, yeah, that's a pocket pussy. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's, inter that's interesting to me. That's hilarious. <clears throat> YouTube. You know, it's gotten to the point where I... <laughs> It's gotten to the point where I, I don't want a sex doll anymore. Like, it's gotten to the point where I, I don't even want... I, I don't want a sex doll anymore. Where I'm just physically turned off by sex. So I'm like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with this thing right here? Put it to use, and I'm sure you do. I'm sure you know what to do with that, Cobes. Took out my pipe tobacco and ponder it. I always oh, smoke I, of the cigar and ponder it, too. I have an idea. I think it's you brilliant. do. You're going to use it. <coughs> <coughs> it's brilliant. I have an idea. I'm going to destroy this pocket pussy on camera. And not with my dick, either. Like, if women don't really find me that attractive, for the majority of them, anyway... 
and so he's going to destroy that pocket pea, and as a symbol of destroying the real pea uh, universally. Is it what I'm understanding here? He's so sick and disgusted by uh, sex that he wants to destroy the pocket pea to destroy every pea everywhere. That's what I'm getting. It's a symbolic gesture. On top of that, if women don't find me attractive, for the most part, they just kind of, oh, he's there, you know, will acknowledge his existence. I mean, look at this. Like, it's all squishy and there's a hole in the middle. Like, ew, what the fuck, dude? He's disgusted by it. He is a and serial killer. One of killer. my friend's sisters was going to send me a pocket pussy for Christmas. I found out about out, out about that. And I'm like, ugh, I'd rather she not because it's kind of, you know... Okay, I appreciate the thought that someone out there cared enough to send this to me. But when I have no sex drive, you can't expect me to fuck this thing. So I want to take these scissors and I'm going to destroy this thing on camera. I want to cut it and try to and cut it. And this is why he doesn't have successful dates. Because he wants to destroy them. Like, someone made a comment on one of my YouTube videos. They're like, somebody send this guy a pocket pussy. And I deleted the comment because I'm like, no. Don't fucking send me a pocket pussy. God <laughs> damn it. I find sex to be disgusting. Like, what the fuck? I'm glad everybody think. I'm glad everybody finds the fact that I can't get pussy to save my fucking life. I'm glad people find it to be so goddamn funny that they're like, oh, we feel sorry for this guy because he can't get laid. Here, let's send him a pocket pussy. Huh. Fuck you. They're trying to help you, Cobes. You can be more appreciative of your fans. They buy you pizza, and they give you pocket pee, and they try to hook you up with dates on Grinder. Okay? <laughs> Come on. I'd be grateful. Not with the grinder stuff. Maybe with the pizza stuff. You know what? I should have told Vickers that I don't believe he has the balls to send me a pizza and that I'm allergic to pepperoni and I really love pineapple. So whatever you do, don't put pineapple on it because I really love it. But I'm allergic to pepperoni and sausage and bacon. And please, whatever you do, don't buy like three extra large pizzas to shame me as a dad and say that I can't provide for my kids and that you're feeding them, okay? Don't do that. Whatever. That would embarrass me. This is what I think of your stupid pocket pussy right here. This is what I think about love and companionship. This is me like saying I give up on love and companionship, man. It's never gonna fucking happen. So why fucking waste my time craving it? <laughs> He's psycho. Fucking send me a pocket pussy because you feel sorry for me. Psycho, like, psycho. I don't know. Maybe because you think I'm awesome and you don't want to see me. You think that I actually care about sex and shit? I think you do. I don't deserve to have a pocket pussy anyway. I, I don't deserve to have a girlfriend. I'm not worthy. Wow, so low. Okay, YouTube, I am Cubs, not worthy, you're worthy of female companionship. If the most women do is barely acknowledge my existence. Wow. Then that means I'm one of those motherfuckers that's just destined to be alone the rest of his life. I mean, if He's people so sad still want to send me stuff, for those of you who have been, I appreciate it, thank you. Just, uh, don't, don't send me what the heck? shit like this, please, like... Oh, dude, this pocket pussy is destroyed. There is no saving it. Now I might want to wash my scissors after doing that. The idea is just fucking laughable, YouTube. You know, my homeboy, Scotty, he, he's been trying to set me up with a girlfriend, and he's had no luck with it because as soon I wonder as why. women see my Facebook profile pic, for whatever fucking reason, they're just like, Ew, no. You know, to all the women out there rejecting me right now, you couldn't handle me anyway. Yeah, you, you couldn't, couldn't handle, handle the codes. You couldn't handle me in bed anyway. 
I'd be the best fuck you'd ever had. But if you want to fucking reject me just because I look a little autistic or whatever, fine. That, that's that's a little's really, putting it mildly. You're lost, really. You know. Mm -hmm. There's some of you out there are probably like, well, if you don't want a sex doll, does this mean you want a car? Fuck no. I got two feet. I can walk. Who needs a car? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, you've gone a whole year without having. Well, if you don't want a sex doll, does that mean you don't want a car? I don't get the logical connection there. Let's back that up. Coming in. Car. Fuck no, they're probably like, well, if you don't want a sex doll, does this mean you want a car? Fuck no. If this, if you don't want a sex doll, does this mean you want a car? This is how you know, like, I don't know all of the lore of Cobes, because I'm confused by this. The logical connection isn't there. If you're saying you don't want a sex doll... Does that mean you want a car? Uh, how, how, how is there a link there, guys? Help me with that. I'm confused. Okay. Okay. Anyway, moving on. I got two feet. I can walk. Who needs a car? Oh, you've gone a whole year without having it, and the year continues to move in towards two years. Eventually, it's going to be four fucking years. I, I can almost see it happening right now. It'll probably be four or five years down the road, and I'll be like, I should get an award for waiting this long. Or not waiting, but going without it for this long. Ha! So I'll be 30 in five goddamn years. That is, um, something to think about, YouTube. I'll be 30 in five years. Well, five years is still a long ways away. So Cobes is like, what, 32, 33? Like five women is he like 35? Or, excuse me. How old is he? Four women since my ex. Hey, forget about girlfriend. Dianara. You know, and uh, it just it doesn't mean shit to me anymore. What's the fucking point, YouTube? And there'd be times I would crave it. YouTube, there'd be times I would crave some sugar wall. Crave some the sugar craving wall. was so bad that I could literally taste sweet, clean pussy in my mouth. Oh shit, he's a monster. The craving was so bad that I could taste it. And I couldn't do shit about it. It just means that winters are that much more colder, or that much, or that much colder at night. It makes sense. Yeah, if you have a craving for pee and uh, if you don't get it, your winters are, are much colder. So this is what I'm saying, guys that are like still virgins and like you haven't never had any whatever. This guy has. I put him on the screen here. Keep that in mind. God the King Cobra has at one point in his life gotten laid. Okay. I think I'm. Yeah, yeah, it has definitely happened. He's touched it. He's been there. And he's chasing it. He wants it again. He says he doesn't, but he does. He's, he's trying to lie to himself. He's trying to convince himself. But the mind is fighting with the body once. Okay? The mind wants to give up. The balls say no. No. You could say all you want, but we reign supreme. Okay, that's what's going on there. Right. Cold like an empty heart, like an empty bottle in the trash can. Poetic. Patience drained like the alcohol consumed. That's heavy shit, man. Mm -hmm. Nah. And why do I like drinking alcohol? Because it allows me not to care for a couple hours. I would drink every day if I could afford it. Trust and believe. <laughs> Trust and believe. Yes, I would get drunk every day if I could afford it, but alas, I cannot. Did it come from here? So I'm going to see how long I can go without sex. I bet you I can go the rest of my life. Well, that's what I'm shooting for.
So, somebody had made a comment on my last video. The person who made the comment basically said that... I have been selected to do an errand. <laughs> Streaming all day is practically impossible when you have kids and family, right? But it makes sense. Now, I can go be right back screen, come back. Let's park this stream here, okay? That's what we're going to do. We're going to hang out more, maybe tonight, definitely tomorrow. It's a long weekend. It's a long weekend, okay? This is a long, chill stream. Been streaming for three hours now. Y'all take care. Have a good one. Take it easy.